All right, here's a video I want you to see. Greg Pike found this and he said, what is this all about with Mickey Sherman? Can you explain this? This is very interesting. Let's look at this. This is the lawyer, Mickey lawyer. Sherman. All right, we are, exactly. we are going to do, that's Howard Frankel. I need quiet, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special presentation and I need quiet, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special presentation. This is a presentation that is designed and geared to help benefit the Iron Sheik in his cause. Thank you very much. All right, you may look any time. I'm going to roll, I'm going to give you a cue. You're going to have time. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and a two shot now. Thank you. One. Thank you very much. We're here today to talk about the Sheik. Uh, Your Honor is well aware that the Sheik has been charged with assault in the third degree in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We've got some people here who know the Sheik, who work with the Sheik, and who think very well of him. Right now we have Freddie Blassie, his well-known manager. Freddie, the Sheik has been charged with a crime. I'd like you to tell Judge Rotman and the prosecutor what your opinion is. Just a minute, you pencil neck geek. Don't interrupt me. Judge Rockman, let me tell you right now, I've never met a more honorable man in my life than the Iron Sheik. The man's word is better than all the money in a bank. You know what I'm talking about? And listen, Judge, you pencil neck geek, you, I'm telling you the way it is. And Sherman says you're going to be running for office soon. Listen, I'll get out there and I'll vote for you 10, 15 times if necessary, but this is my man right here. And you better do right by him, you pencil neck geek. That's you know what I'm talking about? Old Judgey, oh boy! <laughs> Keep quiet, Sherman. Thank you very much. Next we have Arnold Skolin. How are you? Arnold, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I've, well, I've wrestled with Sheik many a time, and uh, he was a tough man in that ring, but outside that ring, he's a real gentleman. A decent man? He's a decent man. And you don't think he's capable of committing the crimes that no, uh, he's been accused of? No, I don't believe it at all. I, I, I know if he was in a ring wrestling him, I could see him do something like that. But not outside that ring. He's a real gentleman outside Arnold, that ring. thank you very much sure. for coming. Uh, I think next we have Bobby the Brain Heenan. That's right. <clears throat> I've been acquainted Look with who they the call for character Cosmo witnesses Vissari for you. Bobby Heenan, Fred Blassie, I'm surprised professional you didn't get wrestling career. When he taught the Olympic team at the University of Minnesota. When he came over from Iran, when he started in professional wrestling, I know him from the beginning. No man has dedicated himself harder than this man in the sport of wrestling, Greco-Roman freestyle, professional wrestling. The man is a dedicated athlete. He travels day and night all over the United States, all over the world. He's always one of the busiest wrestlers in the world, and he has a language problem. He doesn't always understand things, and I think that he deserves a break. And everybody makes mistakes every now and then, and I just think he was a victim of circumstances. You, you, yes. you think maybe the language problem had something to do with the incident? Well, of maybe course it was it a does. misunderstanding? That's what I would say. I know he has a lot of trouble with referees, has a lot of trouble with opponents, he has no trouble with judges, he has no trouble with Bobby DeBrain Heenan. So try to be a fair guy, give him a break. I think it's the fair thing to do, and if you do, Judge, I'll make sure 10, 15, 20 people vote for you. How about that, pal? Thank you very much. And of course, Lou Albano, what else can you say? Judge! The only thing I can say is I know Cosgo or the Sheik for some 15 years. He has set a fine example, as rough and as tough as he is. He has gone with the youth. He showed people how to wrestle. He's a silver medalist in the Olympics. He's got it all together. In my book and in your book and the book of the people, this is a man that is a family man, has three children, has integrity, has decency, has honor. Yes, he's rough. Yes, he's tough. Yes, he's wild at times, but misunderstood. He does not speak the language. He does not understand the language. He can be misinterpreted. He can mispermeated, misdevelated. Misubulated, but the man is one of the kind of the imitated from the judge. Just a minute. I don't care about your election. I don't care what you're running for because you ain't bothering me. But I'm going to tell you with all honesty and decency and integrity this man is one of the kind. I respect him as a human being. He wrestles rough, he wrestles tough, he's unbelievable, never matched. But he's a good, compassionate human being, a family man. Listen to me. Give him a break. He's good. He's honest. He's decent. But God bless you. Thank you. But what? But do you feel strongly about it? Do I feel strong? <laughs> yes, very strongly, because I know he's misunderstood and misinterpreted, and he's a good man. If he weren't good, I wouldn't stand after him. Thank you very much. And I'm the captain. You got it? Thank, <laughs> thank you, Lou. And lastly, of course, Mean Gene. I, th I thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sherman. If I, if I may, I would like to uh, just expostulate momentarily on the virtues of this very fine gentleman to your immediate left, Khosrow Vasari. 
is known as Sheikh Alahani for the Iron Sheik in his country. In 1968 in Mexico City, I happened to be covering the games for NBC television, and it was at that time that I met this tremendous gentleman, of course, representing his country at that time. Later, as a matter of fact, I happen to be the best man in his wedding. He has a lovely family. He's married to a very attractive Scandinavian girl from up in Minnesota. Judge, this guy is first class all the way. Granted, he does have problems from time to time with the language, but certainly you can understand that. And Judge Rotman, I've always been a, a big proponent of yours in all of the things that you've been doing in this part of the country. And uh, hopefully you'll take this man into consideration when you have to put the gavel down and uh, close up shop. I thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's that's the... I just I'd like to say that so much. Hold it. I've got to collect telephone call. I've got to accept. <laughs> that's the wrestling community, of course, in the world of entertainment, showbiz, Grammys, everything, Cindy Lauper. Hello, Judge. I just wanted to tell you um, what I wanted to talk to you. Uh, you've seen all the wrestlers here. Um, I know the Sheik. The Sheik uh, was in a video with me, and I worked. I had the opportunity to work very closely with this man, and I believe in my heart that he is a good man. And he is a good man because he believes in things, in good things. And um, sometimes image can, uh, and I know about that, can throw people. And sometimes people attack people because of an image. Um, I believe very strongly that uh, the Sheik did not attack these people. I believe he was attacked. And this is a common case. And this is something that he deals with every day in his life. I do not believe that the Sheik is capable of doing such a, I guess, a dastardly deed. Is that a dastardly deed? That's that? dastardly. Dastardly. Yeah. I'm sorry. But, One uh, bastard's enough. <laughs> yeah. If you would please uh, take into consideration here that this is a good man, he's a family man, and he's a very hard worker. And um, sometimes people can be real dumb yeah, we'll be here all day and do some dumb thing. things you to that? other I'll be honest with you, Sean, Olivia, I mean, I don't rem I, I know something was wrong, but I didn't know they all come talk about me in that days. Yeah, you know what was wrong? That mean Gene said he was a correspondent for NBC News for the Olympics in 1968. If that's true, I'll eat a dead dog's dick. But, um, but uh, they said apparently in Bridgeport, Connecticut, y there was a problem. And you were being sued uh, for uh, assault of somebody in Bridgeport. Maybe one of the fans after a match tried to start something with you. I don't know. Probably, but I don't remember per, uh, uh, that one as much as I remember a hacksaw situation. Yeah, well. Uh, uh, that was uh, only I remember that one. But I, about this, probably, I don't know. I insult maybe somebody. I didn't even know myself what I'm doing that day because my, uh, my English was not too yeah. good. And, and I'm glad that all... Uh, uh, by support I had to come talk about me. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, all your brothers came up for you there, exactly. and your sister, was, uh, Cindy. Yeah, that was, uh, was a hell of a surprise to come uh, to support me. It yeah, good. they all looked concerned. You looked concerned. Actually, the only one that didn't look concerned was uh, uh, Sherman, because he was going to be getting the big check for uh, doing the uh, trial. Let's look at this video. Major Johnson. All right, Chief, it's Major Johnson. Sergeant Slaughter? Uh, the story goes, one time when Andre the Giant was in the ring with Bad News Brown, he shit himself. Uh, did Andre ever have any bowel movement issues when you were in the ring with him? Out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, Bad News Brown told a story that um, yeah, he was in the ring with Andre, and Andre shit his pants uh, right in the ring. Did you ever hear that? I don't know about mm -hmm. that. He no. never shit his pants while he was in the ring with you, right? No. Okay, good. All right, here's a video I want you to see. Greg Pike found this and he said, what is this all about with Mickey Sherman? Can you explain this? This is very interesting. Let's look at this. This is the lawyer, Mickey Sherman. All right, we are, exactly. We are going to do, that's Howard Frankel. I need quiet, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special presentation and I need quiet, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special presentation. This is a presentation that is designed and geared to help benefit the Iron Sheik in his cause. Thank you very much. All right, you may look any time. I'm going to roll, I'm going to give you a cue. You want to time it. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and a two shot now. Thank you. One. 
Thank you very much. We're here today to talk about the Sheik. Uh, Your Honor is well aware that the Sheik has been charged with assault in the third degree in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We've got some people here who know the Sheik, who work with the Sheik, and who think very well of him. Right now we have Freddie Blassie, his well-known manager. Freddie, the Sheik has been charged with a crime. I'd like you to tell Judge Rotman and the prosecutor what your opinion Just a minute, you pencil neck geek. Don't interrupt me. Judge Rotman, let me tell you right now, I've never met a more honorable man in my life than the Iron Sheik. The man's word is better than all the money in a bank. You know what I'm talking about? And listen, Judge, you pencil neck geek, you. I'm telling you the way it is. And Sherman says you're going to be running for office soon. Listen, I'll get out there and I'll vote for you 10, 15 times if necessary. But this is my man right here. And you better do right by him, you pencil neck geek. That's you know what I'm talking about? Old Judgy, oh boy. <laughs> Keep quiet, Sherman. Thank you very much. Next we have Arnold Skolin. How are you? Arnold, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I've, well, I've wrestled with Sheik many a time, and uh, he was a tough man in that ring. But outside that ring, he's a real gentleman. A decent man? He's a decent man. And you don't think he's capable of committing the crimes that no, uh, he's been accused of? No, I don't at all. No, I, I, I know if he was in a ring wrestling him, I could see him do something like that. But not outside that ring. He's a real gentleman outside Arnold, that ring. thank you very much sure. for coming. Uh, I think next we have Bobby the Brain Heenan. That's right. <clears throat> I've been acquainted Look with the Irish Sheik Cosgrove Viserys for almost 15 Heenan, years Freddy of professional wrestling career. Chair. When he taught the Olympic team at the University of Minnesota, when he came over from Iran, when he started in professional wrestling, I know him from the beginning. No man has dedicated himself harder than this man in the sport of wrestling, Greco-Roman freestyle, professional wrestling. The man is a dedicated athlete. He travels day and night all over the United States, all over the world. He's always one of the busiest wrestlers in the world, and he has a language problem. He doesn't always understand things, and I think that he deserves a break. And everybody makes mistakes every now and then, and I just think he was a victim of circumstances. You, you, and you yes. think maybe the language problem had something to do with the incident? Well, of maybe course it was it a does. misunderstanding? That's what I would say. I know he has a lot of trouble with referees, has a lot of trouble with opponents, he has no trouble with judges, he has no trouble with Bobby DeBrain Heenan. So try to be a fair guy, give him a break. I think it's the fair thing to do, and if you do, Judge, I'll make sure 10, 15, 20 people vote for you. How about that, pal? Thank you very much. And, of course, Lou L.